The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra has condemned the attempt, attempted arrest of Yoruba activist and agitator Sunday Adeyemo, otherwise known as Sunday Igbuho, noting that such is a provocation from the Fulani Caliphate. Nambikano stated this on Twitter while reacting to the incident. He added that Igbuho should not be touched. He tweeted this on his Twitter handle saying, I condemn in totality the pathetic attempt to arrest Sunday Ibuho earlier today. This is yet another deliberate act of provocation by the Fulani Caliphate. No hashtag Fulani mass murderer. Miyeti Allah or bandit is under arrest. The hashtag Nigeria is on the brink. Ibuho should not be touched. A team of policemen, soldiers, and DSS had attempted on Friday to arrest Sunday Ibuho along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The arrest, which resulted in pandemonium in the area, was unsuccessful as angry youths and supporters of Ibuho resisted the security operatives. Earlier, a former aviation minister, Chief Femi Fanikayode, had also tweeted about the incident, saying, I just spoke to my brother, Sunday Ibuho. He told me there was a violent attempt to arrest him this afternoon by a joint team of soldiers. DSS operatives and policemen, numbering about 40 on the Lagos Ibadan Express Way. Whilst he was on his way to see Baba Ayo Adebanjo in Lagos. I condemn this attempt to ambush and abduct him. It is not only reckless, but also very dangerous. If the security agencies want to see him all, they need to do is to invite him to their office. Let me also send a warning to the federal government that Sunday Ibuho is a million is a hero to millions of Yorubas, and either killing him or detaining him unlawfully would be the biggest mistake they could make. Elder statesman and Aferifere chieftain Ayo Adebanjo has condemned the attempt by operatives of the Nigerian police and Department of State Services to arrest Yoruba freedom fighter Sunday Adeyemo. It was learned that the security operatives, however, failed in their violent attempt to arrest Sunday Ibuho. But reacting on Friday, Adebanjo said, I have been receiving calls from people that I will be arrested, but I have not seen them. I am only hearing it. He said the security operatives could have allowed Ibuho to get to the venue of the meeting so that all the Yoruba leaders, including himself, Pa Ayo Adebanjo, meant to be present at the meeting, will be arrested. Pa Adebanjo accused the government of going after citizens agitating for a better country while ignoring the bandits, terrorists, and kidnappers who are unleashing terror on innocent Nigerians. That's the kind of situation we are in. Does it mean that the man can't move again? They should have allowed him to get here and arrest all of us. Make a demonstration to the world that this is the kind of situation we are in. Boko Haram terrorists are around. The Miyeti Allah Katu Breeders Association are around. Recognized abducting, killing, and all that. They left them alone, but the citizen who is crying and struggling is getting arrested. The complainant is now the accused. That's Muhammad Buhari's administration for you. God will save us from him. I was expecting them to arrest him here. They shouldn't have stopped him. They should have allowed him to get here and then they arrest all of us here. Igoho has been in the news since he gave Fulani headsmen in the Barapa area of Oyo State seven days to vacate the area in January. The youth leader 
had blamed the leadership of the Fulani for being behind the rising insecurity in the state. Former senator and social critic Sheh Husani has said the abduction of school pupils in Kagara, Niger State, and Jengebe, Zamfara State should be the focus of the Nigerian government at the moment and not the arrest of Yoruba activist and agitator Chief Sunday Ibuho. Sani, in a Twitter reaction, stated this while noting that the wisdom needed from the leadership of the country was how to end the bloodshed and lawlessness in the northern parts of the country. He said, Sunday shouldn't be the focus. If there is any wisdom that is desperately needed from the leadership of this country, it is the urgency to end the bloodshed and extinguish the raging flame of lawlessness and paralysis of the security in the northern part of the country. Nothing matters until human lives and dignity matters. On Friday around 2 p.m., a team of policemen Soldiers and Department of State Services Operation had attempted to ambush, abduct, and arrest Sunday Ibuho along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The arrest, which resulted in pandemonium in the area, had been unsuccessful as angry youths and supporters of Ibuho resisted the security operatives. All right, guys, it is what it is. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story, as it were? Not left out in the reaction to Sunday Boho's arrest. Chief Dele Momodu, in his reaction to the incident on Twitter, said, The government knew the whereabouts of bandits in the forests, but failed to go after them, but wanted to terrorize a man who lives in his own beautiful home. He said, why this harassment of Chief Sunday Ibuho by agents of a government that knows the whereabouts of the bandits who live inside remote forests and won't go near them, but have the temerity and shamelessness to terrorize a man who lives in his own beautiful home in Ibadan City? Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. The government of Nigeria has continued to shamelessly expose their lack of wisdom, lack of understanding, and lack of leadership. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.